What up? It's me, Tiny Pirate Gaming, and this is a tutorial video that's going to cover how to find all of the milk molars in a specific region. For tutorials on other regions, check out the playlist linked down in the description for all your milk molar collecting needs. Now let's go grab some molars. Now let's talk about the sandbox and all of the molars that can be found in this region. Also, you might want to invest some time in crafting a set of antlion armor to protect yourself from the sizzle effects found in this region during the daylight hours. Or, you could just come here at night. I don't care which! Anyway, there's three milk molars and two mega milk molars to be found here. The first one I'm going to cover is actually found on the east side of the sandbox between the fence and the ledge of the sandbox. So it's technically not in the sandbox, but it's close. In order to reach it, all you have to do is run around to the back side of the sandbox. I recommend using the south side to avoid the cluster of orb weaver spiders that can be found to the north. Here it is on the map. This next molar is going to require some building to reach. You can use ladders, walls, ramps, or whatever else you want. The important thing is that you reach the highest tower at the center of the sandcastle to obtain the molar. Here it is on the map. In order to get this next molar, you'll need a black ant shovel. Then travel to the yellow toy shovel in the middle of the sandbox. To the north of the shovel, you'll find a dig spot that will reward you with a melted moat key right here on the map. Once you have the key, you can travel to the south side of the sandcastle and swim into the moat to discover a submerged treasure chest. Upon opening it, you'll be rewarded with a milk molar orb. This is also the location of the recipe for the salty morning star, so be sure to snag that too. Here it is on the map. Retrieving this next molar is going to test your mastery of the combat mechanics because you'll have to defeat one of the pitted antlions to access it. These antlions can be quite challenging, but they are weak to slashing damage, so I suggest using a dagger or the antlion greatsword to inflict the most damage. Here's where the antlion pit can be found on the map. After defeating the antlion, you can descend down into the tunnel where you'll usually have to fight another antlion, but since I recorded all of this in custom mode, I didn't have to do that. At the bottom of this tunnel is where you'll find the Mega Molar, and there's also a chunk of Supreme Quartzite down here that you can crack open if you've got a Tier 3 hammer. Here it is on the map. The final molar in the sandbox region will require you to build to reach it. You can build whatever you want, ladders, walls, stairs, foundations, it doesn't matter. I don't care which. The important thing is that you have to be able to get into the large cactus pot on the south side of the sandbox's ledge. Once you've gotten inside, you'll find the molar in the center of the pot amongst the various cactus plants. Here it is on the map. And that's how you find all the milk molars in this region of Grounded. Don't forget to like and subscribe! You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord to discuss Grounded gaming content creation and more along with me and the rest of the Hashtag Tiny crew. 
So whether I see you here in the comments, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.